On Saturday, July 9th, 2011, the Ottawa Streetcar Heritage Committee made an official visit to Expo Rail in Montreal to learn about their streetcar operations. Here are some uh, views of the interior of the museum showing the streetcar collection. Very impressive. This is also a railway museum, and you can see on the right hand side there is uh, an extensive collection of uh, heavy rail vehicles. And of interest to our committee in Ottawa, Expo Rail has operating streetcars and rail vehicles. Here you see Streetcar 1959, which used to operate in Montreal up until the end of its uh, system. Here you can see it coming down uh, the southern section of the Expo Rail grounds. And here, uh, Benoit Dany of Expo Rail is talking to several committee members about the operational streetcar system. Here, Benoit is explaining to David Jeans how the speed controller mechanism functions. Benoit was uh, mentioning that if you have a double ender streetcar with two controlling systems, they both must be maintained at the same time, otherwise problems can occur. We also got a chance to look at the uh, replica of the John Molson, which was Canada's first steam engine. here former Montreal streetcar 1959 is passing by and that is Bert Titcomb standing in front. Nineteen fifty nine is a double truck streetcar which means that it has two different sets of wheels and driving motors. The building off in the distance with the tracks going into the garage doors is their streetcar maintenance building. The train was already the train was already moving when I ran into the station. And he saw me running down the platform. So he stopped the train.
There's a lot of noise at this station because we also have a level crossing, so the crossing is signals operating while the streetcar is also going by. The remainder of the video is a series of steel pictures taken by various team members. Here we see Benoit and various team members inside the streetcar maintenance shed. Then uh, Benoit was showing us how the wheels are maintained. Benoit also mentioned it's very important for a heritage streetcar to have brand new steel wheels, not to rely on the older wheels as they are brittle. This is the streetcar powerhouse which gives power to the electrical system. This is Barrington Station on the grounds of Expo Rail. David Jeans and Benoit are talking. And here we have streetcar 1959 stopped at Barrington Station on the Expo Rail grounds. Notice the difference between regular rail and streetcar rail. Streetcar rail is much wider than regular rail. This is a picture of streetcar number six from the old Ottawa Transportation Commission system. Here we have Hassan and Benoit talking about controlling mechanisms in heritage streetcars. This is a single truck streetcar of the old Montreal system. This is one of the models of streetcar we might use in Ottawa. Again, some pictures of the John Molson, or the replica of the John Molson. And again, some various members of the committee inside Streetcar 1959 talking to Benoit.